How's it going, my truant people? Dr. Slacking the Slacking Doctor, back with week four, I think, of the BBR. And this week, your Bis Bristol Drifloons go up against Liv and her uh, New Orleans Saint Snow, I think. Oh, I should have double-checked that, but I'm pretty sure that's right. Anyway, um, built my team about an hour ago for this, so it's pretty fresh in my head. Uh, really tough matchup. My opponent has a Halucha, um, which, like, if I play really carefully around it, it might not sweep me, but then if I play really carefully around it, I might just lose to everything else. Plus, my opponent also has Rain uh, with Kingdra, which isn't great. Um, they have Tabu Coco. So in the end, I decided not to bring um, Hydreigon to this one. It's two weeks in a row I haven't brought Hydreigon now, which makes me a bit sad uh, since it missed that scale shot in week two. I just benched it. Just just being punished, being disciplined. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. I wasn't feeling it. With things like Kingdra and a Rain. Or Lucha into Terrain, Tapu Coco. That's, you know, one half of my opponent's team that just, just beat Hydreigon. So a little bit sad about that. Uh, but it does mean we get a chance to bring some of our low-tier mons again. Uh, so we're bringing Marini this time. And uh, hoping that Marini can put in work because I just dropped Liv a good look. Have fun. Of course, her channel will be linked down in the description. Go and check her out. Uh, we last played in the uh, GDL Finals where I got uh, maybe a little bit lucky to win. Um, but we were able to come out the victor. So... Pretty cool to have a rematch of that. And they have Golduck as well, not just Kingdra. I'll be honest, saw a Golduck on the thing, just went, oh, Golduck, and scrolled over it. Didn't think, that's a Rain Sweeper. That's a Rain Sweeper. No Halucha. I've prepped heavily for Halucha. Shit. This has gone about as badly as it could have done. Uh, it does mean that Hibiki is really freed up now. Uh, also, Arty, as you can see, I had the Cobra on there for Throat Chop Halucha. Um... And of course, Hibiki, just with its natural physical bulk, would be able to take some hits from uh, Halucha. I'd definitely have a prep for Halucha then. Wow. Um, but yes, that uh, that that frees up um, Hibiki somewhat just to get rocks up early. And I do want to get those up early, limit the amount of switches my opponent has. Um, I just suspect it's Boots Volcarona. Uh, Volcarona can't set up against anything on my team, luckily. Um, so... That was another thing that I did prep for a little bit. Uh, unless we miss a Stone Edge, then it can set up. Let's just hope it doesn't miss a Stone Edge. Um, so yeah, we want to get rocks up early. Good luck, have fun to live. Let's get a post-it note open. And I can write down my opponent's team. So, interesting. Really, really interesting. Tapu Coco, Pelipper. As we do see the Coco lead, um, it'd be good to find out what kind of a set this thing is running. Uh, Kingdra, Golduck, man. I've got a funny feeling Golduck's going to fuck us. Um, what's this not Venomoth? Volcarona. I was like, what's the moth called? Uh, I know it's not Venomoth, but what is it? Let's see. So what can we tell from this Tapu Koko, depending on the damage it does to my Uxie? Let's just plug in an offensive Tapu Koko. This one in particular is physical. Uh, all right. I'm going to get rocks up. I could go Landorus here. Um, I did bring Landorus for the Tapu Coco, but I've, I just value rocks early. So we're going to see a U-turn come off. It's going to put us down to 139. Let's get some information early. That means it did 23%, uh, which looks as though that is a... Um, can that be Timid? We'd have to be max roll timid, so it's possibly um, a bulky, uninvested physical attacker, which doesn't make too much sense, or a mixed attacker, which makes more sense. Um, so possibly mixed attacking Coco. Out comes the Volcarona. Um, I'm going to U-turn here. If this thing wants to Quiver Dance up on me early, we can U-turn out. If it wants to Bug Buzz and kill me, I don't mind losing um, my Hibiki too much. So as my opponent goes for a Tailwind, interesting. Interesting. Okay. So it is going to be able to outrun everything on my team now. Could have Psychic. We are Spadef. It's either that or we go Whimsicott and Encore it into Tailwind. I think that's the safer play. Now, my opponent can make a read here and switch out. Um, this is a fairly obvious encore, I think. But 
I think that's okay. Um, I think that's okay. Yeah. Marini would have been fine too in the end. I think either of those would have been absolutely fine. Um, but I like this line a little bit better. So we encore it into Tailwind. And uh, we can now U-turn and get the momentum. Man, I love fucking Encore Whimsicar. I've been spamming this shit recently. I mean, I've been spamming Encore everything. It's just a good fucking move. And it Taunt, Encore, Haze, all these kind of like just disruptive moves, Thunder Wave. Like, love all this shit, man. Love all this shit. Um, big fan of Whimsicar as well. As you guys will know if you've been around the channel for a while, I spam this thing. I absolutely spam this thing. So the Tailwind's going to peter out this next turn. Uh, we've had two turns of Encore already. I don't think the Encore's worn off yet, so... Um, I'm going to go into this. Uh, the Encore could run out um, at any moment, which is the scary thing. But has the Tailwind expired? I didn't see that. Um, electric Terrain. I think their Tailwind's ran out. So, assuming we're going to see the... Um, assuming we're going to see the Golurk come in here, I'm going to Sword Stance. We are the Shookerberry to break through the Golurk specifically. Yeah, okay, good, good. Um, and we are a damage roll to KO this thing if it's like offensive after rocks, I think. Or is that to two it KO? I think that's two it KO uh, physically defensive. So, um, yeah, the Tailwind goes, that goes. So we just want to see, there's no leftovers popping here. That's really good. So I think this should two it KO them. I think this should two it KO. It's taken a little bit of rocks chip. Um, we should be able to take the Earthquake with our uh, Shooker. If this is the stealth rocker, then it, it could be Live Goes for Rocks, expecting me to switch out and thinking that my sword stance was a bit of a misplay. So let's see, we've got two, four, five. I've written five things down. What am I missing from Liv's team on my notes here? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, yeah, this was designed just to break early. It's not like um, Go Lurk is, is the thing that I need broken for anything else, but it just means I can click close combat and stuff more readily, so we nearly picked that off there. If we'd been adamant, we would have done. Um, this means it's probably quite quite invested in attack, I would guess. Uh, so this will probably do about 60 odd percent, 70 odd. Oh my god, that's choice banded. Oh, it crit. Okay, that sucks so bad because we we die to rocks next time. So that's it's not a good crit, but um, it's fine. We can earthquake here if Pelipper wants to come out for whatever reason. We can still uh, stone edge at the next turn, so it doesn't really put my opponent in the best of spots. Of course, Tapu Koko can come out now, and it can U-turn for a KO, and I can't really stop that. So what can I stop? Um, Pelipper could come out. I think Liv is going to want to go into... Um, oh, go look. That's what I was missing from my stats, and now it's dead, so I don't need to write it down. That helps. Uh, two, four, five. Yeah, perfect. Um, so this is going to be a U-turn KO. Um... And she's going to want to get in in Pelipper, I think. So, she's going to want to rein up. Um, yeah. I'm going to go into this guy. Just in case something else happens here. Um, uh, and then what I can try and do is I can... Uh, okay, so the Dazzling Gleam does come out. Okay, so we made the right play going into this just in case. Uh, we are able to take that pretty comfortably. Uh, she's almost certainly has to U-turn here. And almost certainly has to U-turn into the Pelipper. So I'm going to Sandstorm this turn. Shout out to Eric for this tech. I completely robbed it. I've seen him use it before, so I just robbed it off him. Wow, Shookerberry on the Tapu Koko then, almost certainly. Okay, that's an over-prediction from me, but it's okay. It's okay. We can um, get a little bit of chip. We've got a little bit of Rocks chip. We will lose this thing in the end game if we don't take it out because of its speed. So I need to be very careful here. Um, so I'm, I am just going to... 
Um, if she's staying in like that, she's got to be Shookerberry, right? I'm just going to Earthquake with Sand Up. With Sand Force, we probably kill through a Shookerberry. So I'm not going to read the Pelipper Switch with Stone Edge as much as I want to. Yeah, because I just... If she stays in, I want to I want to take this thing. So, uh, it is the Shooker which we were expecting. I am invested, but we are Sand Force. And we have got some chip off on it. Um, not enough, but with Sandstorm... We're going to get funky here because I'm not sure that I... Ah, I do kind of need this. It would have been better to use the Age Slash. It just doesn't have it doesn't have Regenerator or Leftover, so I'm bringing Greedy. But assuming she's going to Dazzling Gleam again, it's an aggressive play by me. Um, but yeah, assuming she's going to Dazzling Gleam again, I'm going to do this. Make it take the extra Sand Chip, and then I'm going to go back into Lando, and uh, either I lose my Lando at the same time that she loses her Coco, or... Um, No, I think health on Storm's too valuable. Like, I wanted to go into Storm there to cover the, the Dazzling Gleam again. Um, but I, I... Because then I could keep Lando as a sack later in the game. But I think the HP on, on Storm might come in really useful to take a, take a hit from the Rain Sweepers. Um, as she goes for the Roost. Okay, didn't factor that in as an option. Um, so, we've kind of... We've lost a lot of offensive pressure there. That sucks really bad. Good play. Good play, good play. Good play. Okay. That's fine. We can still handle this. I didn't I didn't even contemplate Roost as an option on this set, to be honest with you. I was like, U-turn, Dazzling Gleam, Thunderbolt. <sighs> yeah, I guess Roost makes sense. I just didn't. I was thinking like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. That's a misplay by me. Um... But it isn't over. It isn't over. So what I'm going to do here is because Aegislash Slash is just going to get blown away in rain by the Rainmons anyway. I'm, I'm an offensive Aegislash. Slash. Uh, I can afford to go into it here. Electric Terrain has gone down. Um, she could roost again, but I don't think she will. Yeah, she does and gleam here. At best, now uh, she can U-turn out. But um, I think my Flash Cannon kills from this range. So, yeah. I think we're okay. I have her Air Slash, of course, for the... Uh, I could, could see a Roost come out here. Um, but then I could King Shield the next one. Yeah, so I think without Electric Terrain, we should take this pretty okay. And we do. Perfect. And we just keep that Lando as a sack. Because really what I'm looking at as, at this end game is it's going to be really aggressive. It's going to be really offensive. Things are going to be getting sacked. And uh, that does pick up the KO. Perfect. And so having that Lando as a sack potentially is really useful. Or even potentially to click Sandstorm on, on something or Revenge Killer Volcarona. Or there's just a bunch of reasons that la that Lando could still be useful. Um, the primary one being as a sack. So I think this is better. Um, this doesn't necessarily let her do too much. Um, if she goes into Pelipper, um, I can... What can I do? Hmm. I don't naturally outspeed Pelipper, do I? No. And I'm uninvested. So unless she's built slow U-turn to try and get a faster pivot off, um... I'm gonna King Shield. I don't think she's gonna go hard. I think she's gonna U-turn, if anything. Um, and it doesn't really matter, but it stalls out a turn of rain. So I just want to get a turn of rain stalled out. I think we saw boots there from the Pelipper, didn't we? Okay, goes for the Scold, so I'm glad that we went for that. Also covers that. Uh, we did see boots, so stalling out rain turns is really valuable. I'm going to rock slide here. If we're slower and she scolds and burns, that will suck. Um, but if, I don't think going for the um, air slash on banking on getting burnt makes a lot of sense. So... I'd rather just get this off here. Um... Hmm. 
I'm gonna air slash here because either she scolds to killers or she roosts predicting me to uh, King's Shield. Defogs, okay. So a, uh, a rock slide would have been really, really nice there, but this isn't bad either. Yeah, that is good damage. That is really good damage, actually. So I'm going to click that again. We cover the roost play. There's not a lot of turns of rain left. If she wants a U-turn, it's not going to uh, get it too far. So yeah, we keep the offensive pressure up, and uh, rain's going to go down pretty soon. Um, so she might have to hard switch into... One of her other ones and take some big chip. Um, or just KO us before rain runs out. Or we could miss an air slash. You know, not going to throw that into the universe or anything, but that is an option is that we can miss an air slash. But still the fact that uh, that she's not damp rock and that rain's coming down means at some point uh, we can get in like Terrakion or something to get a big hit off. Perfect. So... Um, Yeah, I think I think we continue with this. I, d I don't know what, when out Sage Slash will be useful. A uh, King Shielding to stall out some rain turns could be useful later, but realistically, I think this is the most useful it's going to be. So annoyingly, I think I now have to land a Stone Edge, um, which you could argue I should have brought uh, an offensive move that wasn't Stone Edge on one of these guys, but I didn't. Um, so here we are. Yeah. So we know it's not Scarf. We're gonna go into Terrakion. If it's physically defensive Pelipper, which it doesn't look to be specially bulky from the air slash damage. If it's physically defensive Pelipper, my close combat won't kill. Um, so, just going to double check from the rock slide. Do you think we did about 30 to 36 with the rock slide? Uh, I feel like we did more than that. I feel like we did more than that. I'm still not going to... I'm still going to just go for the move, I think. I, I don't want to risk... I live in a stone edge and, and, and whatever, so... Yeah, and she does switch, so... Unless... Okay, it's going to be the sack of the Volcarona here. Um, assuming we land, and we're going to have two opportunities to land. So, we do land. The Pelipper will come back out here and get rain up one more time. And this is where having Aegislash Slash to stall out rain would have been nice. But there's a possibility we can... Oh, can we stall it out with other things? Um... Maybe, maybe. We are just going to Stone Edge again. I'm absolutely just going to Stone Edge again. We might lose Terrakion. But if we did, then potentially, you know, we could try and start out Rain and stuff. Uh, Marini's going to be really huge in this endgame. Marini's going to be really, really big in this endgame. It's going to have to do a good job. So she is going to try and preserve the Pelipper, keep her Rain. And the Kingdra's going to come out. Please land. Please land. I wish I'd, I'd close combat. Uh, good, 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 good. Uh, that's big damage. That's really big damage. So. Is now the time to sack the Lando? Um, mm, 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 mm. Lando's pretty good in the end game, along with you. I think we're going to go Merciless because if we take two hits. Then we can regen some off, whatever. We can scout. We can see what's going on here. Um, I, I, I need to see what's going on. Hurricane comes out. It's obviously for the... Um, it's life orb. I thought it would be. I thought it had to be in this kind of a game. Um, which means I can toxic here. I could have knocked off. I could have recovered. But I think the toxic's... Okay, because I think I can then sack and the residual damage. Uh, the Draco Meteor, I don't believe, will kill us from Life Orb. I don't think. Yeah, I didn't think so. So we can regen off and we can sack something. And um, we're still good for the Gold Duck, potentially, or even this thing. Uh, and we can probably come back in and recover on this thing after a regen. So that's good. What we've got to figure out is who it is we want to sack. Um, it 
Hibiki could potentially take two hits um, at minus two. So I'm going to go Hibiki. And uh, I'm going to try and get rocks up again. No, I'm not. I'm going to try and get momentum. Yeah, I'm going to try and get momentum and get an easy regen on Marini. Yeah, that's better. So it does go for the Hurricane. Makes sense. Doesn't want to Draco again. Uh, would have made too much sense that we do tank that pretty easily. We get confused. Uh, oh, she might die this turn, actually. I was thinking she would live this turn, and we could then U-turn into Marini after soaking the next tick, get Marini some free regen, sack something else, so on and so forth. Uh, we're just playing this this tough sack game against against the rain offense now. So, um, Pelipa can come out now. We are still going to need to land Stone Edges, I think, in the end game. Um, okay, so the Gold Duck comes out. I have no idea what this thing is going to be, so I'm just going to U-turn. Um, could easily see it being um, Specs, maybe, with, with Kingdra designed to break through the team, and then this thing designed to clean up the team. So we went from 132 to 2. A right, life orb as well. Don't need to run the calcs to find that out. If we hit ourselves, um, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's, it would obviously would have been nicer to have this as a sack, of course. Um... But there are worse things out there than that. So, um, we're going to Storm here. Is the Tapu Koko dead? Yeah, I've deleted it off my thing, so it must be. I don't remember. Oh, the Aegis Slash. Yeah, yeah, we use the Aegis Slash. Fine. Um, unfortunately, I don't have Energy Ball, so we're just going to have to Moonblast. I could Encore. Um, no, nah, I'm just going to Moonblast. Like, I do think we'll see an Ice Beam come out here, but Pelipper's also, uh, yeah, a, an option to sack to get Rain up. So, and I don't know if one Moonblast will kill this thing, so I think I'd rather have the ability to um, Moonblast twice and, and secure the KO on this thing. Oh, it does KO. Okay, fine. Wasn't 100% sure. Um... Golduck can now come out. It's all on Golduck in rain. Um, she would have to Ice Beam to KO me here. I could potentially try and go Marini on that uh, as a read. And then... And then what? Like... Uh, there's not that many turns left. I don't love that. I really don't love that. Because I think Marini 1v1s this thing. I'm going to Moonblast. We might even take one Ice Beam, and then I could Encore into Ice Beam. Calm Mind. I can Encore into Calm Mind. Perfect. That's GG. Uh, possibly forgetting that I've got Encore, or possibly just um, figuring the only way that um, she pulls this off is through a choke of mine. Um, but I'm going to Encore here. It's not Mental Herb. We've seen the Life Orb, so we can Encore it into... Calm Mind, and that's a game. And then we can Moonblast and uh, KO this thing with Whimsicott. Oh, Whimsicott putting in the work. Whimsicott putting in the work. I mean, potentially... Um, no, we just keep Encoring until the rain goes down, and then we U-turn out into uh, Terrakion and close combat for the kill. I'm just thinking, like, peep. Oh, fuck! I misclicked. That's obnoxious. I didn't mean to do that, Liv. If you're watching, I'm not trying to drag this game out. It was a misclick. My bad. I'm not being a dick. I know this game's over. Ugh. It just looks rude when you do things like that. Because this game's over. If we were on Showdown, you could click X. But um, I just fucking misclicked. So, sorry about that. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, this was a tough game. This was a hard-fought game. Uh, but it was a fun one. It was a really fun one. As soon as the rain goes down and, and uh, she's locked into Encore, we're going to U-turn out and uh, get Terrakion in and, and, and finish this game. Um, I don't like to draw things out when you don't have to. I could sit here spamming Moonblast and doing 10% damage all the time, but there's, there's no, no one wants to see that, right? Uh, yeah, this was... I, rain's always hard, man. Rain's always hard. Um, Encore ended, so we just Encore again now. It doesn't really matter with the rain down. It's This is over, but... Um, I, look, differential might be important. This league's huge with a lot of players. Um, I think there are going to be a lot of coaches with positive records that aren't going to make playoffs this season. So, 
it's I don't like to do the differential play, but it is objectively my correct play. So it, that's how life is, right? Um, I'm going to U-turn here. Not going to misclick. Uh, maybe we could run out of encores as well, PP. Maybe we could... Uh, I mean, we still wouldn't lose, but maybe we could do that, and that could be annoying with Whimsicott. So this this is just the right play. I feel like I'm trying to excuse this because it just feels dicky, but it's like it feels worse because of the misclick. But it's just the right thing to do. So out comes Terrakion. That crit in the end on Terrakion ended up not mattering. Uh, she was never able to get her rocks up uh, because it was the go lurk that we um, that crit me and that we then took. So yeah, at the time when I was like, oh, that sucks because then we won't live rocks. I wasn't really thinking about the fact that we were killing the only rocker on her team in that moment. Um, so yeah, a little bit of an unnecessary whining for me at that moment. Can we talk about how nice shiny Golduck is, by the way? It looks real clean with that kind of like bronzy colored. Is it like a bronze? Yeah, it's almost like a copper bronzy colored like beak and webbing. It looks really nice. Uh, yeah, huge GG to live. That end game got dragged out. I apologize. But don't let that take away from what was an excellent battle. Really, really fun one again. BBR this season, honestly, has been incredibly fun. I've loved every minute of it. Um, yeah, and your uh, your Bristol Drifloons... Nearly said bone and bow vines. Your Bristol Drifloons advance now with a 3-1 and one record. We continue going strong, loving the team. Loving even, like, the lower tier pickups on the team. You know, Marini came and was actually really, really useful with the Kingdra there. So, um, yeah, showing its worth, but... Love it, love it. We go on next next week. Don't know who we're playing, but I'm sure it'll be another great game. Thank you so much for loafing around with me, and I'll catch you again next time.